If I could grow a moustache like that, I would be a very happy man. Hello everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Sly Cooper mod or the Thievus Raccoonist mod which is its proper name. So this mod adds in a bunch of stuff related to the awesome game Sly Cooper which debuted on the PlayStation 2 I believe all that time ago. Now I haven't played these games for so long but I know that the first game was called Sly Cooper and the Thievus Raccoonist which is what this mod is based on. So before we get on to the items we need to get into some recipes where we can first off work towards crafting Sly's gear. So in this chest here we've got some stuff called coal dust and smoke powder and smoke glass as well. So to make some coal dust you need some coal you just put that into a crafting table so really simple and you get eight coal dust and what you can use that for is to make smoke glass. Now smoke glass is the same as glass but it lets through less light and it has the durability of an iron block so it's a much stronger form of glass and lets in less light as well so it's easier to sneak past and all you do is put glass in the middle of your crafting table and surround that with the coal dust you got from your single piece of coal to make smoke glass and I'll show you what that looks like compared to normal glass in a sec and then you're also going to need a little bit of smoke powder so smoke powder is stuff that you can both eat and use for crafting so what you need to make that is a piece of coal and glass in a crafting table to get the smoke powder and i'll also show you what that does later on so now let's just have a quick look at what the glass looks like so this is the smoky glass and this is the normal glass and as you can see it's pretty much just black and has a lot bigger durability than this so this will smash a lot quicker and then we've got this as well that smashes a little bit less so moving on to the next chest is where we can craft sly's gear and if you have known about the sly cooper games you have a mask these cool looking boots and his cane as well so to make his mask you need five bits of black six bits of black wool i can't even count to make a mask in this shape so let's grab this and then you need the boots as well which is where you need that smoke powder from earlier and four bits of blue wool to get the boots and then you have the things called the cane so this is like sly cooper's family heirloom this one is the same strength as diamond and this one only has three uses and it will one shot any mob so you have three chances to instant kill any mob you like and to make those you need two gold ingots a stick and a blaze rod for the normal cane and then for the looter you need two gold a blaze rod and a gold nugget so this one's much more powerful but only has three uses so let's don this gear and look the parts so, oh my god we look so awesome so awesome let me just check this out ah uh, yeah i am sly cooper my eyes go a bit into the mask but hey i'm sly cooper right now so let's move on to this next chest where we have some things that we do some cool parkour -y kind of spy kind of stuff. So we have this stuff called poles, jump boosters, and sky wires. Now to make poles, you get two poles if you just put three iron ingots in a row in a crafting table. So you get the poles. And then to make jump boosters, you need three oak slabs or any wooden slab, two iron ingots, and an ender pearl to make a jump booster. And then a sky wire is just two string to get two sky wires back. And behind me, I have a little thing set up. So as you can see, all the stuff we've kind of like by um abilities will have ender particles coming off them that looks really cool so imagine this in like an, uh, an adventure map or something you'll be able to tell where you can do some spy kind of stuff which is really awesome so as you can see here i have set up a fence and you cannot jump over the fence as normal as you know but if you get on a jump booster just a single one you'll be able to jump over a fence so it gives you a little bit of a boost just to jump over a fence but that is not all look at this i'm going to be able to jump this because if you put two or more jump boosters together you get an absolutely crazy jump boost so i'm going to try this right now i should land on top of there so let's see what happens go no I, I messed it up i messed it up let's try again let's try again there we go there we go i'm on top and i fell off so I, as you can see i made that completely by having four jump boosts there you've got to time it right which is kind of awkward but kind of cool as well and then, yes i made it look at this i made it all the way to the top and i'm gonna fall and hurt myself God damn it. <laughs> so the next thing we have over here is the pole and the sky wire. So the pole acts as a normal kind of ladder. So you walk up to it and you'll be able to climb it like a normal ladder, which is awesome. Another feature is that you can, oh, I'm going to die. Holy balls. <laughs> so as you, another feature is that you can jump and you can hold shift while you're on the pole to just kind of stay where you are. So if I'm holding shift right now, you can see that I am stuck to this pole, which is really cool. So let me just show you this. And it's raining. Beautiful. Look at this. I'm I'm on the pole. I'm on the pole. <laughs> so let me just get rid of this weather because it's pretty annoying. I've already set it to clear as you can see, but no, it came to ruin my day yet again. Not only am I almost dead, but you know, I'm, it's raining. It's raining. 
So at the top of these poles, I have the sky wires, and now I'm pretty wary that I am low on hunger, so I might just show you what the smoke powder does now, just in case, because I need a bit of a gap of hunger to be able to do this. So the smoke powder, when you um, consume it, you'll go invisible for five seconds. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, I mean 10. But if you're wearing the armor, you kind of like don't get away with it. So 10 seconds of invisibility, which is always cool. And it will fill up some of, it takes away hun hunger actually. So as you can see, look, it takes away half your hunger in exchange for 10 seconds of invisibility. So that is a cool feature. It will allow you to spy on anyone you like, as long as you aren't wearing any clothes. <laughs> Right then, back to this pole and skywire so I can't die. I've moved into creative mode because so I don't need to be in survival any longer. So as I mentioned earlier, you can climb these poles, stick to them by pressing shift. And when you get to the top, you've got these skywire things. So they aren't like little thin bits of wire, but they are quite small blocks. And they can be placed in a line like this so you have to balance on them. You can't hold shift and balance on them. So if you hold shift and walked off the edge, you will fall off. But yeah, that is pretty much what the Skywire does at the moment. This is still kind of a work in progress mod. It's not completely finished. So there will be some things that it needs to be improved. But I think this looks awesome. I love these jump boosters. They are really cool. Yeah, if they, if they work properly. <laughs> if I can get them to work properly. Yes, yes. So can I jump over to here? You can see the amazing parkour things you can do. No, no, I didn't do it properly. So there's also some new mobs that have been added in with this mod and you will recognize them if you are a fan of the Sly Cooper games. We have the clockwork and the mugshot. So let me show you the clockwork first. So this is what it looks like. He's kind of like a scary freaky owl. There's a brown one and a silver one as well. So let's, let's kill this guy. He's pretty damn aggressive. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't know. I think they have a lot of health actually. Look at this. This has the same power as diamond. And he went down in about 10 hits, which is crazy. And he has the... Um, Random chance to drop a, I was hoping that he was going to drop one, but he didn't, a clockwork part. So you can use this clockwork part in any crafting bench to make some clockwork armor. So let's just take this off for now. And this clockwork armor looks pretty impressive. And this is actually stronger than diamonds. So if this stuff, stronger than diamonds, you've got a stronger than diamond cane, you will be destroying people. Now there is one more guy that is added into this, which is Mugshot. And Mugshot is one of the main villains from the first Sly game. And he is a huge bulldog of a man. Look at him. He is walking on his fists. He don't give a crap. He doesn't give a crap. So let's let's destroy this guy. Get, come here. Come here. He looks pretty awesome, actually. He looks like he should be in charge of a circus or something. And this guy will drop pork chops most of the time. Get out of the way, cow. Um, <laughs> he will drop pork chops most of the time. So, yeah. That is pretty much what this mod has to offer so far. And if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then, you know, I've just realized there are a lot of cows here. Look, there's, there's at least 10 cows here. I don't know why that is. <laughs> so yeah if you did enjoy this mod and do want to play it for yourself check the description below to go to the minecraft forums post and download it it's a really cool and really made well made mod so far and i think this could be a really cool mod in the future so it'll be interesting to see what he does with it and yeah if you did also enjoy this video and this commentary then please do hit that subscribe button for daily minecraft videos and for all of you a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too so that's it from me thanks a lot for watching guys and goodbye goodbye